The next contestant is from the Faculty of Engineering, Kevin Liu, and the title of his talk is Brachyview, In-Body Imaging for Cancer Treatment. Thank you. As a male living in Australia, you have a one in four chance of being diagnosed with prostate cancer by age 85. Up to 20,000 new cases are diagnosed every year, and sadly, more than 3,000 men will die from it every year. Yet, treatment is very successful when detected early, and these days, men, instead of going for traditional open surgery, have the safe option of radiation therapy. Now, radiation is used to break up DNA inside cells. When the DNA is broken, the cell loses its ability to reproduce, and then it dies. But the trick with radiation is it doesn't actually know what the difference is between a good cell or a bad cell. It kind of just fires off and we hope for the best. Brachytherapy is a way of delivering radiation that allows us to avoid those good cells as best we can. As you can see in the X-ray image, up to 120 radiation sources are implanted directly into your prostate. Now, these sources are very small, so you can imagine that it's kind of hard to see exactly where they are when they're inside the body. And that's what my thesis, Brachyview, aims to address. <coughs> it's up to us as the planning doctors and planning physicists to ensure that we are not irradiating the wrong body parts. In prostate treatments, up to 40% of men can unfortunately experience complications in either the urethra or the rectum due to badly placed radiation. Currently, doctors use an ultrasound probe that is inserted into the rectum to visualize and plan for your prostate. But I'm sure that if you've ever tried to look at a baby on an ultrasound image, it's kind of hard to see exactly what's going on. And so we're developing Brachyview as a brand new in-body online imaging system that will be able to visualize the implant as it occurs. By using high-resolution silicon detectors, we are able to see and adjust the seeds in the needles as they're being inserted into the prostate. As shown in the bottom left, we have successfully designed and fabricated a triple detector design that is small enough to be integrated into the ultrasound probe. The three detectors work together like a family of cameras that can detect the radiation signal from within the prostate. From the three different views, we can reconstruct the seed position and adjust them accordingly to optimize the patient treatment and avoid those critical structures. In experiments involving plastic models and real radiation sources, my research has verified the approach, and we have reconstructed seeds within a millimeter of accuracy. So far, the research has already been greeted with great interest in the brachytherapy community. And for the thousands of Australians affected by cancer and undergoing brachytherapy treatment, brachyview means there will be one less worry on their minds. Thank you. Thank you for that. Um, what happens with that picture there? How do you insert the catheters? Yeah, or, or, so, um, or where do you insert the catheters? So I can see the men squirming. <laughs> it's, um, <laughs> it's under general anesthetic. And so what happens is um, these long needles, they're made of stainless steel. They go inside the, through the perineum, which is basically the flesh between the scrotum and the, and the rectum. Um, and it's all by ultrasound guidance. So the ultrasound goes inside the rectum, and you can see them as they go in. This is just a way of improving the, uh, the imaging. Okay, thanks very much, Kevin. Thank you. <clears throat>